All right. So, yeah, I'm laying down here while I'm taking this video, but I don't give a damn. So I just wanted to uh, give a little bit of an update. So first of all, I'm laying down because the light's better this way. And I have a crappy cell phone with a crappy camera, so I'm just kind of, you know, stuck with what I got. So uh, I just wanted to show you something. So, you know, I don't know if all of you guys know that I have... Uh, Graves disease and Hashimoto so what that is it's a thyroid eye disease and it's an autoimmune it attacks the uh, thyroid and it causes this crap so this is all swollen tissue surrounding the eye all the way around and all the way around this way you know not very interesting, but for medical purposes it is. So, if you can see here how red this is. That is herniating out of my eye. And it's very interesting to me. It's kind of gross, but it's still interesting nonetheless. So, anyway. So, I've been on prednisone off and on since, I want to say, probably September. And I was on a pretty high dose, 60 milligrams. Then I tapered down to nothing because I didn't like the way it was making me feel. Which, uh, you know, I think that was justified because prednisone is uh, pretty terrible and shouldn't be used for long term anyway. So, um, anyway, so prednisone is really the only treatment for thyroid eye disease other than a new medication that was just approved in January of 2000, I believe, 2020, this year. And I was approved for it. And uh, I was supposed to have my first in, uh, infusion of the medication. I think it was, uh, was it two weeks ago? It was the week before Christmas. So I waited. It was supposedly shipped out. Everything was good to go. I get a call from the pharmaceutical company. And they stated that uh, the medication has been discontinued indefinitely. So what that means is I have to stay on prednisone. And prednisone is, like I said, you know, something short term. It's not something you're supposed to be taking for a long time. And I've been taking it since September. So it's causing this fat moon face. It's causing hair growth. Of course, it won't grow on the top of my head. So, you know, I don't luck out in that, that department. But nonetheless, the uh, Tepeza has been pushed aside for uh, the pharmaceutical company to make the Moderna COVID vaccine. So I don't know how long this is going to be going on for, but I'm going to do a video every week because I'm going to stop taking that prednisone. And I just want to see how, how my eyes handle it. And I just want to uh, document it through video just because I think it's interesting. I mean, this has just gotten worse and I've been on prednisone now like I said, since September, off and on. So, I mean, you can see it's pretty bad. So, it is what it is. What can you do? So, uh, you know, I'm going to have a little bit of a uh, video documentary, I guess. Every week I'm going to have a uh, short video, just giving an update on what's going on with it. And uh, hopefully I'll be able to get that to Peza soon. And start it. I'm looking forward to it. It's supposed to be really good. So, uh, you know, I'd like to get to the point where, you know, I don't have to use uh, Timolol eye drops and, you know, like it, just the prednisone and all the other crap that I got to take for it. So, uh, I don't know. We'll see where it goes. 
and uh, I will update every week. All right. Hope you found this interesting and gross, but whatever. It is what it is. Alrighty. Happy New Year.